Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic, and welcome back to the first idea sharing episode. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this an hour long. Uh, are we gonna put a pause on our Rise of Siberia uh, map uh, just for a day? We'll see how this goes. I will see what you guys think about this. And um, I just came some. Uh, I just came to some realizations, and uh, I got some ideas uh, what can be done and what can be like to, to create an interesting scenario and uh, just to share ideas about the goals and what can be done. Now, welcome to Lublinia. Lublinia is the Rops' map, unpopulated in this case. It's a mixture of flat grounds and the hillsides. You probably saw the episode, if we didn't check out the episode from yesterday, if I remember, I'll put it right here. Um, from yesterday with the Rops' mods, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. You, you didn't, you know, all that stuff. Um, I wanted to put a pause on the series and discuss some of the ideas about the maps in general about the scenarios, about uh, workers and resources, the game, the real life game, uh, real life game, yes, the game called real life. Um, and um, some of the mechanics of economies in real life and in this game. So I come from a country that was once industrially developed, now it's not anymore. In the Balkans, uh, in, in uh, we have, we had Yugoslavia, now most of the countries there, they have only remnants of the industries they had before, and uh, countries that were heavily, okay, let's go with real life politics as well, countries were heavily um, uh, degraded in industries and uh, they become heavily dependent on a, a single or only few branches of industries, for example, in the banana country called Croatia, it's shaped like a banana but also it is a banana country uh, there are no more steel mills uh, refineries are being closed down uh, the only thing that is actually worth uh, there like worth not really worth but that is useful for other people outside and company uh, companies it's uh, raw agriculture para products and tourism and that's it um, uh, this is something that uh, I should have thought about earlier and a couple of last series I started with uh, farming. Farming is uh, quite basic. Uh, it's infinite resource, but it's quite seasonal and not so profitable, like in real life, which I can vouch for. Um, uh, it's not like in real life. So, uh, the mistakes I made in the co last couple of series, not really mistakes, the Alaska series was learning curve. Not that steep one, actually. I had a lot of help from you guys. While the, the Rise of Siberia was more of the same, where I thought I'm going to be changing something, and uh, some of the things that I did there, um, I thought I'm going to be implementing a little bit better, or at least I hope that the game mechanics will be a little bit more, well, gentler to us. Uh, it proved to be a little bit more difficult than I expected. Now, I'm here on this map because I wanted to discuss some of the ideas. Uh, this is something that I missed a long, long time ago, this map. Uh, and again, Rob's in his infamous... No, not infamous. Uh, infinite uh, wisdom. He actually created a map that has a lot of resources in a lot of places, but they're quite limited in quality, which is also one of the things that I appreciate because it has resources that you need, but you're going to have to fight for them. Uh, on the other hand, one other thing that I uh, should have implemented and I didn't would be like things like import based economy. So that would be uh, that would be Julian uh, saying this. Yes, uh, he was probably right to increase the speed. I first of all, I'm stand. I stand behind what I said with in the last episode that I love to see a country being developed step by step, and probably all of you as well. Uh, you know, starting from farming and uh, starting from the beginnings and building your first. The, that happiness when you construct your own first building even with imported materials but with your own construction office a single construction office uh, it's quite pleasurable um what i wanted to do here uh just share some of the ideas and see what you guys think about this 
Now, I will try to start a new series here, a new series of one episode, and see how, what you guys think about this. Uh, this map has many border crossings. It is ripe to have import-based economy. Uh, I was thinking of doing a little bit of a mixture of import-based economy and um, export economy. Uh, how, was I, so how was I planning to do so? Well, I was planning to build like this. Uh, the series would be called... Uh, a country united or something in that order I will think about something a little bit better and the goal of the series would be this uh, I would make three different uh, sides of the map kind of different of course they're gonna be have to be near the Soviet borders because we want those sweet sweet you know, um, uh, rubles rather than uh, dollars. So I would be placing three cities with three crucial, uh, three crucial ingredients that we need here. I will build those for like free money. We're gonna pump in money as much as we can uh, to to build three towns, three different towns with three different resources. That would be coal, iron, and one of the would be manufacturing. Um, manufacturing part of the country again i would place them closer to the border uh, they don't have to necessarily be capital city the goal would be to connect those three cities and connect the resources and uh, the secondary goal or the gold medal goal would be to construct a capital city here uh, this is lublinia obviously capital city will be called love no it's gonna be called after you guys because uh, I'm not <laughs> I'm not gonna be so tacky call this Lub uh, Lublin the, the capital city because this is the map where the city of Lublin is it's a little bit hillier than in real life uh, on the western side and it's a little bit well, that's it and it's a little bit focused I think the whole city would be mostly around the, 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 the whole map but anyway maybe we can do that as well but anyway this is the goal the goal is to have a decent start to have three different cities I would say one and a half to three thousand people they would be connected they wouldn't be connected to each other they would be totally separate entities uh, separately uh, well disconnected from each other so that would be a uh, coal mining town obviously there's a little bit of a well hillside uh, hillside over here hillside depository of coal the de deposit of coal uh, that I would like to tap into uh, you can see I for like my rough estimate that this is 25% if I find 50 like 50% 50 quality anywhere uh, that would be a miracle we can test this out uh, if I ever remember where the mines are so we have vanilla over here oh dear lord this might be a little bit rougher than I expected uh, so we have 25% if I find 25% that would be a miracle uh, oh dear lord save us there's <laughs> I need to find where this call is there, there's no coal. There's literally no coal. So we would have 20% 20 uh, quality of coal. With maximum productivity, these mines, these mines, as far as I remember, as far as I remember, 22, 25% coals uh, would be around 150 tons of coal ore. Unfortunately, do we have this overlay? We don't have overlay to show me here where the resources are. Uh, no, it doesn't. I'll have to inspect how the veins he look here. So we have a bigger v vein or something like that here. 22%. That would be under 150 tons with uh, 80 people, I believe. Is it 80 people? No, it's 200 people, I believe. 220 people. And we will be getting only 150 tons of coal uh, from these deposits. So I was thinking of uh, building something like this around here. You can see 22, 23%. Uh, 23%, something like this, uh, these deposits here. What do you think about this plan? About building these three cities from the scratch, uh, industrial zones, uh, and I would build in each one of them. Uh, functioning construction industry. So that would be uh, starting all over times three. Exports would be like this. We would have iron mining town, we would have the... Uh, coal mining town we can import electricity from uh, we can build our own electricity system later on uh, we can base this on exports uh, I was thinking about doing something like this I was thinking about doing it here let's go can we do this feng shui is it even possible let's do it in this direction because I have a feeling that we want conveyor belts in this this direction we have the border crossing over here uh, also I would like to ask you guys what do you think about starting uh, 
uh, this map. I think at least gravel uh, would be appropriate. Uh, we can, I'm always flexible about these things. Uh, but if you think that we should go for maybe asphalt or even or even or or even mud yeah, that wouldn't be the worst thing ever well actually maybe i shouldn't start with the with this if we are supposed to start with mud uh with with uh, yeah with mud so I'm, I'm pretty sure if you guys want a little bit faster development that we're gonna have to start with a little bit something more than mud uh, there's a canyon here. We can we can build through canyon. I know how to canyon. We can build through canyon. So uh, roads like this. Uh, crap! How are we even supposed to get out of here? This is where the mines are. This is how the geography of the area looks like. I'm thinking about town around here. Maybe even this hilltop. So we can put something like this. Uh, regarding the exports, we can start with railroads as well. Uh, coal is plentiful even in these small quantities. Uh, mining hundred and something tons of some hundred and something tons of coal uh, per day. Uh, coal ore per day uh, would produce uh, almost 100 tons of coal uh, coal ore, 150 tons of coal of ore per day would uh, be almost 100 tons of coal per day with uh, with um, with uh, high productivity, which I'm kind of aiming for uh, from the beginning as well. So we would have some kind of coal mining industry over here, potentially with co two coal mines, and then we would have the industry. We can be we can set up conveyor belts going all the way here. Uh, we can have the processing industries over here, and then we can have city and transporting people from this hilltop over here. As you can see, this is a hilltop, kind of hilltop because it's the side of the hill. And we would we would be exporting this probably with railroads. We can start with a train as well. We can start with maybe even basic infrastructure to make it a little bit more inf interesting. Because I don't remember when was the last time I used wooden tracks for anything. Probably would be top process. Uh, probably would be top process. Uh, Mezirusi map. So something like this we can build. Um, unfortunately, uh, I might be. I might have to build this in the uh, in the video recording because I will do my best to do as much setup as possible off screen but it might be um, a little bit uh, time consuming for me that I might not have but I will still give the best I can with, with you know doing it off screen so I don't uh, bother you guys with too much uh, too much problems so what do you think about the idea about this uh, to have uh, basic railroad infrastructure and then probably later on how am I even supposed to build this upgrade this railroad to be I I'll fi will find a way <laughs> this is the beauty of of uh, this channel and us here uh, the beauty of uh, yeah <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get Okay, so continuing on, uh, I'm thinking about one city being over here. Uh, this is going to be initially uh, idea sharing. I, I actually, you know what, I'm thinking about this, that this can be a multi-episode uh, thing. Uh, multi-episode. We can even... No, I need a road to the border crossing because I'm not sure if we're going to be able to uh, set up uh, the... the they are, we, we cannot set up imports with trains, with food and all. I'll stick to the trucks and won't uh, overcomplicate this. And we have a railroad came all the way here. I'm not sure if we want it there. Uh, it's going over the hilltop here. I would like to remove this one. I don't think this one is the best idea. Because we don't have to go over there. Because trains, if we're going to build anything, they're going to be loading around here. Uh, this is the area where the industry is going to be. So we can start with... Uh, in the middle, where exactly where we're supposed to start in the middle so uh processing facility would be somewhere around here so input uh conveyor belts would be from there and this is the processing facility of course we would need to have some storage facilities oh perfect timing to test our new storage facilities uh, storage facility uh, something like this i still don't know why do they have two en entrance and exit these uh, these storage facilities in the mid in the mid um, between those we should have the uh, engines as well uh, but i think this would be 
uh, this would be a good thing to have. So we would have, uh, I think this would be a good thing to, uh, do we need it a little bit further back? No, I, I think I'm going to stick to this. We would have conveyor towers here. Of course, conveyor towers are much better than the things that we have here in vanilla. Uh, conveyor towers, right? Uh, just to plan for the future, we can have this one uh, three ways. So, yeah, that's what she said. Uh, right, so we have... We would have some kind of conveyor belt system here. Now, input one, uh, I think I would like to go for three in one. Uh, something like this. Uh, three in one, yes, because I would like to get people from these areas. Sorry, uh, I would like to get a uh, coal potential additional coal mine around here. I would like to know, guys, what you think to two coal mines that would be double the production. Should we leave that for the expansion, or should we should we leave it for uh, for this for for now, or should we construct it straight away? Constructing it straight away would mean uh, we will need additional people for this. We have a coal mine here, uh, and where is the... You can see how much uh, resources this one is taking. There's very little resources around here. Unfortunately, we can't even see the quality of the source. You can see... Okay, here we go. This is a little bit better. If we build something like this, we would have... 23%. What about here? Uh, okay, 23% is the best we can get. I don't think we're gonna get any better anywhere around here on the map. So, if we build 23% to these two mines, this is not too bad. This is not too bad. I'll, I'll, uh, we're gonna do the road system. We need to build uh, the, 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 the people supply. Uh, this is gonna be, uh, potentially, I'm thinking now, uh, this can be actually a railroad uh, thing. We can have a railroad delivering people to... Can we build something? Ah, okay, don't do this. Don't do this. Uh, railroad bringing people to mines, that's a possibility. I wanted to build something in between all three of them uh, and then have people uh, walk to all three of them. I think that's a stupid idea. We have majority of people working in mines and uh, that's something to think about. Uh, what I wanted to do here is... Rotate twice, there we go. And build, how far can we build here? I think this is, this is decent distance. I'll build these, I would build these complicated um, uh, conveyor towers, just in case if we need to export maybe uh, coal ore instead of, instead of uh, coal. So something like this, coffee time. So we would have something like this. Uh, mining, coal, processing coal, this is ready, this is ready here, and uh, we need a storage for, we need storage for coal, uh, let's go with here, and then, okay, they don't have storage here, let's go for storage here, uh, to 20,000 tons, no, I'm sticking to these smaller warehouses, should we have a conveyor tower here, I think we should, I think, I think I should rotate it in this direction, and uh, there we go, something like this. Uh, in the mean, in the in between this, let's try to be a little bit smart. I don't know if it's possible. Let's do this: conveyor towers. And uh, I know, po like this is not Poland. Well, I don't know if it's Poland. We'll see. It's Poland. P uh, Polish people are smart, and they wouldn't build something like extremely ugly. Yes, I'm looking at you. Uh, so I would think that this would look nice. I would wanted to build two towers, but you can see that this storage is already a tower, so it would be just a waste of resources. Now, this conveyor system here, you know what? I think it's good enough. Uh, it's We're gonna connect this to roads a little bit later. Um, asphalt or gravel, this is a question uh, that, that's gonna be delivering people here. Now, uh, the last thing we need to set he up here, it's probably gonna be, this looks like the flattish, flattest, yeah, flattest piece of ground. I believe this is, uh, area ripe for, uh, loading stations. So that would be under trains, I believe. Let's see if we have trains and then we have loading, aggregate loading. There we go. Uh, we have top process, Ruda Shlanska. Uh, that would be this one. Coal loader, 
and I think that would fit perfectly here. The problem with this one is the speed with which it's loading. Uh, it's half the normal speed, uh, so and also it, it's pretty short. So we might have a little bit of a problem with this. I, I would probably go with vanilla, just to be on the safe side. So have something like uh, Feng Shui. And now here we don't really have to have. Let's try this one. Okay. Yeah, this, this is probably probably I should build it like this. You know what? Yes, uh, because because let, let's see if I can if I can uh, just double check if all of this. Maybe I should build our. Okay, we have a railroad uh, where the railroad is gonna start. Obviously, it needs to be connected to this uh, railroad system where we left off. So around here. And, of course, we have a road system that we need to build. Now, this seems to be far enough from the city not to cause a lot of pollution here. Uh, but obviously, obviously, not potentially, but obviously this is a location where we're going to build a heating plant and the power plant. Uh, should we build power plant and heating plant on our own? Uh, right, right, right. Heating plant and power plant on our own. Yeah, t tell me in the comment section. So, world building. We're building a world. This is this is one of the things Old Gala asked me uh, in an episode. Was it yesterday or, or two days ago? Uh, are you playing with infinite money? Because uh, money just appeared. I was like, why would I play that? And I was like, of course I would play that. Why wouldn't you play that? Especially when you have a wonderful game like this. Uh, we can we can do it like this. For, oh, I just delete the tower. Uh, you should always build road f roads first, because uh, if you cannot build the road, it's useless. Anyway, uh, what is the main purpose of this? We have a pro we have a, a processing plant. If I wanted to have a power plant, it would have to be connected. The power plant and heating plant, it would have to be connected to the coal system. Coal has... Uh, what would be the best infrastructure okay let's start back in this side what would be the best infrastructure uh, connection here this is this seems to be uh like this hilltop here seems to be perfect place for city center town center town center town center that's gonna have to have 1500 1700 uh industry workers alone so this is not going to be a small ish town we will see how we're going to connect it there's an interesting geographical features on here that we're going to have to build around look at this and this kind of plateau uh, plateau ish area is spreading in this direction i can even build a road in that direction so something like this Something like this to this second hilltop. So this can be a town center, maybe between, or we can have several, you know, districts of a town. Um, so this would be. The, this is a beginning, a beginning town. Of course, we have options to build uh, um, tunnels to to make a faster connection to town. For example, through this ridge, through this hillside, and then make a road. You know, look at this. <laughs> we can literally build a. What the hell is this? Anyway, we can build a bridge or even uh, incline, a road inclining here. But anyway, this would be some of the basics uh, of the uh, road infrastructure. And again, th we need a proper... Okay, so if this is a town center, uh, we can go like this. I think this would be... This would be like this. And here. Yes, and now I have to be careful because you are uh, dealing with two delicate things that don't kind of like each other. Right, so uh, we would be making the main road go in this direction. I think I would like to uh, level this area a little bit just uh, so... Actually, you know what? Not really level. Let's smooth it out. So something like this. Uh, it's still kind of... I would like this not to be red. Uh, I actually don't think it's possible. So let's see how it's going to work with... Um, well, this is the beauty of the, uh, uh, the the hillsides. Let's see. Okay, it's going to be connectable. I mean, I don't want it only to be connectable. I want it to be, you know, feng, uh, feng shui. I want it to be um, nice. Let's go with nice. 
Uh, is this looking nice? Yeah, it doesn't look bad. That, that's the most important thing. So we would have the main road going elsewhere, you know. Back in this time also, I, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, personal experiences with some stuff or some researchers I did or, I, yeah, experiences as well. Um, communist countries mostly in the Eastern Europe, they didn't have highways. There was not high uh, car ownership and even in the Balkans, the first brotherhood and unity highway was being constructed. It was never finished, well, in the communist times, between Zagreb and Belgrade, two biggest cities in, uh, in uh, former Yugoslavia. So uh, those two, well, the, that highway was still being constructed. Uh, Poland, as my better half, she says that they didn't have back in the day any highways, and I'm pretty sure that that's correct, uh, well, as far as my knowledge of history uh, goes. I'm not sure about Soviet Union, like, I know the, the, the parts around Moscow and big cities, they probably had bypasses around the cities, but uh, connecting, like, if you go to Moscow, to St. Petersburg, to Petersburg, two biggest cities in Eastern Europe, well, Berlin would probably be there with, because of Eastern Germany, but like they, I bet they didn't have a lot of highways. Well, Eastern Germany, on the other hand, is a different story. I know some of the highways there come from different period as well, so maybe it's not fair to uh, to to put them in the same basket. But hey ho, uh, right. Uh, so they didn't have a lot of highways. I don't know if any of you from the that used to live in Soviet Union or at least know this. Um, from or, or from those times, was there uh, was there a, a highway infrastructure at all, at all, like between the cities, not within a city, because big cities always had uh, roads. Um, you know, e even even if they didn't have a high uh, road ownership, it's always it was always uh, well, it was it preferred, or I don't even know how to how to say this. Okay, so this would be some kind of firefighting road that I was thinking. You can't even level this? Okay, maybe a little bit little. They don't, it looks like they, they say that they don't even require leveling. This is interesting. Okay, let's try it like this. Okay, and I didn't have plan where to go after this one. Probably would connect it to the main road here. So that means this area is not really that... Uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Let's go like this. Let's remove some of these roads and this road and this road and this road and this road and we already have road cut here so I can just uh, snapping off. Uh, a little bit, a little bit more. And ooh, that looks fugly, fugly. That's the worst road I ever made, I'm telling you. Uh, yeah, is, is the same gonna be if I... No, there you go, you see? You see how it, it, it likes to cooperate, it wants to cooperate? If you're nice, it's gonna be nice to you. This is just for firefighting purposes, and again, um, this, as far as I care... Not really care, as far as my thought goes, this can stay even... Not, I'm probably gonna upgrade it to gravel, maybe even before we start the series, uh, because I'm thinking about the railroad infrastructure, but that's where we're gonna go next stop. So next up would be uh, railroad infrastructure. We're gonna go for wooden one. Uh, this would be our basics for the... Uh, am I leveling this? Not really. Not really, but it likes it here. You can see some of the segments of this railroad are quite steep. And there we go. Something like this uh, I was planning as uh, import-export. I mean export. This would be exports and then imports of the materials or, or food and other stuff that we need here. We would have it around this area. The only thing I didn't think about is the storage. Storage areas, we can probably play with this, that we can have a town storage areas around here, maybe in this valley. Uh, of course, uh, well, let's finish this for a few seconds. We're not going to be dependent on farming here, so I don't think it's important to rush anything in the beginning. It's going to be a little bit different than previous episodes. What I was saying about the industrial capacity of the countries, now 2020, 2019, 2020 came, and a lot of, a lot of countries in the world uh, saw that, um, hey, maybe you should be producing shit in your own countries. Maybe it's not smart that you import everything, because... You know, when shit hits the fan, you actually um, uh, need something, you know, from your own country. Anyway, also to complicate things, what I was thinking is having several separate electrical systems coming to a country, all 
build to... Okay, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. Uh, there's no electricity system here, so obviously these... Two, well, there's all the way up there. Where, where's the iron mining? Iron mining would be here. Anyway, so this would be some kind of uh, iron... Like, um, coal production facilities. Coal. Um, the last thing I would like to set up here... I don't really... This is gonna be a little bit tricky. Uh, well, it's not gonna be tricky. I think some of the people uh, like uh, Topros will be proud of us if we start with something like this. Basic uh, railroad infrastructure with our train stations and all. These are cargo stations. That's not, that's not even... Is this train platform? Yeah, this is it. Uh, we have Robses ones. These are... Wait, wait, wait. Where are you? Here we go. So these are... No, no, no. That's not it. I'm missing something here. These are basic. And what are these here? These are even bigger. I remember there were train stations. Train platforms... Right, right, right. We can, we can go for smaller. So for... Okay. No, not that small. I need those longer ones. Okay, not that, that big. Just a basic, basic uh, public transport infrastructure. What's this? This is a bigger one. That's I don't care about that one. Um, something like this would be nice. Four, four lanes. That might be a little bit too much. Uh, but we'll see. Also, everything is on the table. Even the... Even the... Okay, I think I'm missing something here. So let's go to mods. Let's go to... I even forgot what we are looking for here. Platform stations. Okay, so what do we have here? Platform stations. These are all different kinds. These are Robses ones. I thought we had a platform station without buildings. I wanted to have one of those without any buildings. I don't seem to have it here for some reason. I don't see any. We have this buck... Fixed box station. Okay. I, I kind of like fixed part. So maybe I can do something like this. Uh, the, the, the making making a train infrastructure in sand mode. I think that would be one of my <laughs> uh, favorite things. I didn't do many of those. But here we go. I have no idea how to intersect these two railroads. How do I intersect them between each other? Uh, because this is going to be a passenger transport and I would like to maybe potentially even have the last word here. Like this is it. This is how it's going to be. Uh, do I build overpasses, underpasses? Because this is going through a ridge. Tunnel maybe? Old tunnel. Let's try this. Uh, can I? Wow. Okay. I can't even cancel this one. Uh, F3. There's a ridge here. So can I use this ridge to build a tunnel underneath? Uh, maybe. Who knows? Let's see. No. This looks like it's a little bit uh, tougher to build. I'm not doing anything like this. This is crazy. Uh, I was just hoping to have a decent intersection between these two uh, railroads. But like I said, this is one of the reasons I don't create mods. Because I have no artistic... Um, capabilities, it's absolute zero. How would naturally these two railroads intersect with each other? Now, I expect your input here. By the way, yes, I will be building this. So, technically, I can do... Oh, right, right, right. Uh, I know what I'm doing wrong. I need snapping first. Uh, I can do something like this. We can have... Oh, this looks absolutely appalling. Look at this. This is how uh, this is how they would like us to build it. Can we? No, this doesn't make any difference. No, this is absolutely crap. Uh, let's do this. Parallel? Yes. There. Here, this is much nicer. At least I think it is. And then we can connect this to this main line, like this. And then we can have this main line switched aside. Now, Dennis, if he's watching this, Dennis is probably saying, what the hell is wrong with you? Why are you interfering public transport railroad with the with the uh, cargo railroad? Well, uh, uh, he's right. Dennis is right. We, you should not, absolutely not, uh, combine your... Uh, public transport railroad with the uh, cargo railroad. This is big, big, big no-no. Uh, because if your cargo railroad is not working properly for some reason, you're screwed. Okay, so we have uh, more or less something, some kind of connection between two. I'm hoping that the trains will uh, behave 
and uh, I can probably upgrade this one as well because looks like it fits here. Uh, this is going to be uh, one purpose only, at least this line here that I'm building. This is going to be only for people transport. Do we need two trains? Uh, I don't know. What do you think, guys? Do we need two trains to deliver? Will this? I think this might be fast enough from here to here to deliver people. Problem with this is one train delivering people. You remember what happened in the Siberia series? We had people, uh, train picking people up, delivering them to the mines, or in that case, that was a small van, delivering people to the to the workplace. And then the second one comes with a full of people, comes here, and people don't need to work anymore. What happened then? We had people stayed on the train, going back, and as soon as they start coming back, everybody finished their shift here, and we had a mine, an uh, inoperational mine, um not working what i think the best thing would be is to have smaller trains or train sets i'm not really sure what to run here uh, with a less capacity less the maximum capacity so we would have something that well as previously mentioned with less uh, than maximum capacity and then have two or three of those trains running around all the time not supplying enough people but supplying them constantly unfortunately that wasn't possible with a small heating plant Okay, so we need to build another train station here. Now we can go for small crappy ones. Uh, these are... Is this cargo? Uh, this is cargo. Okay, my bad. Uh, where is that small buck? No. That's the one we used there. Uh, this is small. Dabrovi. Yeah, so for, for example, this is... This would be next to perfect here. So this is uh, Dabrovi... A train platform we can build it around here that's a small 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 railroad station again i will go with a better quality railroad and go all the way parallel with this main road and then connect it over here oh oh absolutely not out of the question delete that's not it toprus uh if he taught me anything he taught me that this should be bendy well i don't know if he did it but uh bendy Okay, for some reason, this railroad likes it. This area here... Uh, I don't know. I I'll leave it as it is. I don't like this bend here, but I'll leave it as it is. So this would be uh, our passenger traffic. Uh, somewhere in between, uh, I should be building... Because it's going to be one lane. Somewhere in between. So let's go here. We need to build those... Uh, what's it called? What was the name of the game? Pain. Pain is the name of the game. Uh, the name of the game was the Transport Tycoon Deluxe. This is where I learned to build these. These are bypasses where the trains will wait for each other to bypass each other. So one train delivering people there, it's more or less the halfway through. So the train, are, uh, one train is going to wait until the second train passes and then we're going to have second, you know, third train, whatever. We can have three to four trains like this operating. Three, three trains. More or less. Anyway, so this is how it's supposed to be. I don't know if this is going to cause any problems. We'll see. But uh, this is how I envision this. I don't know. If you think that we can build this intersection any better, please give any advices. Uh, we can cut it. Or, uh, like, of course, we have options with the bridges. I was trying to, like, may maybe we can build a bridge or something over it. We, we only have one, well... One bendy bridge that can probably be here. We can dig a ditch for the cargo railroad. You know, a little bit deeper ditch. ditch, And then uh, I can build a bridge over it. You know, to, to, to have people delivered separately. Topros did a, little, a lot of nice work there. But uh, I don't know if it, what do you think about this. Okay, so I will, uh, I will start... I will start developing a town. I was thinking how to separate this episode in, in parts. Uh, I will start the lever, the, the developing a town here, around here. Okay, so we have our central area. We, we need electricity hoses and heating plant. I'm thinking about heating plant here somewhere. Actually, uh, I, I would definitely like them to have, to be in walking distance to here because uh, from the, uh, the the processing plant, we can do we can do robses again. We can do robses. Uh, stations here because it's his map so why the hell not so Rob's stations we would go for let's say one-way station here uh, we would have uh, rotated 
Wait a minute, why is there a lot of... Really? Oh, this is a trolley bus or something. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. There's, there's some kind of pillars there. Okay, let, let's just build this. Let me see. Okay, no, the, my bad. Mea culpa, actually. Ah, look at this. I didn't even notice this. What the hell is this? It has infrastructure to be a trolley bus line. You can even see the cables here, but he... This is probably what he did. He removed. He took a bus station and removed the the uh, rest of the infrastructure, and uh, this is how it looks now. Okay, so this is where the bus stop would be for people working processing plant. Uh, power plant will work on this. Not important. Importing power first is more important. Uh, so we would build a heating plant. Heating plant. I'm thinking it can be here a little bit on a hillside. Uh, does it have to be? It doesn't, but it needs to be relatively close to the city, so heating plant here. And I'm not gonna go for a small one, I'll go for a bigger one, because I think... Wow, okay, this, this might be a problem. Uh, heating plant here, uh, will they be able to walk all the... We can, we can put it here. Yeah, but the, the problem is gonna be how to get coal here, because this is where the coal comes from. This is where the coal is born. Maybe if I put it in this direction here, heating plant. Again, uh, this this will not be like this because we we need. Okay, I think this wouldn't be the worst. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Let, let's be a little bit more generous with this. Can we do any other heating plant? Uh, I think we can. Well, coal, it has to be a coal one, heating plant. No, this is this is wood, I believe. Yeah, this is wood heating plant. Uh, right, 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 right. Heating plant. Geothermal, no, not yet. Uh, coal heating plant. This is a big one, but this is way, way too big uh, for this area. We have bitumen here. Any other? We have these. Uh, these have 70. Uh, medium, large, 70 gigajoules. I is it bigger than the small one? Small one is... Yeah, it's double the size. Maybe maybe we can do with the large, uh, these heating plants. They only have small... Wow, okay. I am totally not against this. Small, uh, large, right, left, okay, bricks. Uh, right, okay, so one of these. Uh, sure, 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 sure. So if we build... If we build it here, let me let, let's let's do this. Let me just take a measuring tool for a while. Measuring tool and see what is the distance they're gonna be covering here. This is uh crap. This is too far. This is to city center, so this is where the maximum will be uh, for the pipes. Okay, well, uh, that's understandable. That's understandable. So that means uh, no, you cannot be here. So it, it needs to be a little bit closer. Okay, well, let me go one more time with a distance measuring thing. What about people? Oh, crap. Uh, clear all. Okay. People walking. Uh, 300 meters. This is how far it is. It should be from the station. Well, the maximum. Uh, so 300 meters. I wouldn't go 400 because it's complicated. So something like this. This gives us a couple of hundred meters more for the heating heat exchangers. Now bear in mind that these heat exchangers here, uh, they don't have to be they, they don't have to be on the other side of town. They have huge uh, distance coverage as well, so uh, we can we can easily build a couple of them. Let's see. Uh, should I? This looks like it's less than thousand meters. Why is it telling me thousand? Is it really thousand meters here? Oh, come on. When I close you, just go away. Okay, maybe I'm just being, yeah. So, yeah, we can build up to the town center, and I'm pretty sure everything is going to be within 500 meters of the town center. Okay, okay. Uh, for sure, delete all, that's fine. I think this is uh, okay distance to this, as previously mentioned. Uh, okay distance to this. We have this conveyor belt system here. Can we use this one? I think we can. I think we should. So if I go for conveyor belt system here, uh, this one, oh, look at this. This is a problem. Well, you know what? We can do the second conveyor belt then. Second conveyor belt system would be uh, here. There we go. And then uh, three into one. I don't know if this is overkill. You know what? Because I'm going to be making 90 degree angles, I will 
marks and angles. I will be building these because uh, I think they look a little bit more professional. And then uh, conveyor belt connection. There we go. And somehow I need to do something about the footpaths. Maybe I can build asphalt road here so they can walk and then uh, or, or I can just build directly. And the f f f f f I was thinking straight away being a smart ass and plan for the power station. But that might be... Um, no, I, I might oh, I might enjoy the challenge of... You're kidding me. Really? Okay, fine. Ah, uh, you can go this way. You can't really... Okay, I did a little bit of uh, damaging over here. Okay, let's uh, level this one. The average out to this one. Just to fix the terrain. And then let's uh, build... Oh, I could have done the same over here. Uh, right, 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 right. Well, more or less, yeah, uh, 200 and something meters, that's, that's not a problem. That would be the heating plant over here, and I would just like to see the distances here. It's 280 meters. I could have built it even closer, but it doesn't really matter. So this would be the heating infrastructure. Probably I would start with one or maybe two heat exchangers. We can build a proper town, you know. So anyway, I will stop here with uh, developing this area. So town is something that we would build in the next episode, if you guys think that that's a smart to do okay uh what do you think about this what do you think about mining town what do we think about the railroad infrastructure going here you know what let's let's focus on uh i will i, I will focus back on this town before we uh, end the episode but what i want to do is uh, just address a couple of other issues for, for example we have a decent um decent connection here these rivers are calling me they're like sirens they're saying do something with us yeah that's what sirens say no like uh, uh, shipping this kind of stuff should we do it i shouldn't i shouldn't i do it or any stuff like that so um i was thinking about building a town here this is a big big border crossing uh it has electricity connections so i was thinking about building industrial town here in this let's call it an island between these rivers uh, between these two rivers, we have uh, we, we're gonna build town here. Town is gonna have industries. Uh, probably, I was saying from the beginning, steel industry. So yeah, next to the river, probably probably around here. We will be importing stuff to the steel industries. We will be import based economy. We will be importing electricity. We will be importing. I'm even thinking about a big uh, top process steel mill. It would be a little bit. We're gonna talk about this in the next episode, but. Um, I was thinking, oh, this is my, uh, I believe, is it this top process? Am, am I mistaken? Like this big steel mill. I was thinking about placing one of these, uh, doesn't matter, anywhere around here. This would be the basic infrastructure that we start with. Basic, yeah, the, the huge steel mill. Uh, do we have any other steel mills? St micro steel mills? No, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not a small, tiny steel mill, so I'm not doing that. Uh, 14 tons small steel mill we can start with small steel mill if you guys think that that's a smart idea uh, it has to conveyor inputs so we can even import stuff with trains you know small trains wooden rails and this kind of stuff a small one produces 14 tons of steel per day uh, has 160 ton of internal storage so we can have literally developed developed uh, well developed wooden railroad infrastructure i will start with wooden i want to ch challenge ourselves with um, uh, constructing the uh, upgrading the railroads so wooden one diesel all that good stuff i forgot about the diesel fueling stations there so i'm gonna have to address that as well anyway um yeah but what do you think about the steel mills we have bigger steel mills here 24 tons this one is not bad it has railroad connections straight away it only has you know, it has two conveyor connections that's fine and it looks cool i actually never never played with this one so we can for example start with this kind of uh, steel mill uh, we can have external storage if you want what is the internal storage on this bad boy uh the internal storage on this one is 
95 tons, a little bit less, but still it's it's train worthy. We, we can still have external storage with the train infrastructure and uh, maybe we can upgrade to that. You know, you never know, you never know. So uh, uh, we can start with basic steel mill like this, 24 ton a day productivity, importing coal and iron and uh, processing all of that. We can even have one train importing both of those, uh, you know, maybe in two goes and then decent size storages. They can unload one, go pick up other and this kind of stuff you know to limit limit the growth so it's not well, totally overpowering so this is this is one of the things that uh, uh, i was thinking about second town steel mill town can be maybe a little bit further maybe on the main river here and then we can have people delivered here with the train with trains uh, i don't even know how many people are working here usually in the steel mills there's a lot of people uh, that would be over here steel mills people 200 only Oh, interesting, interesting. By the way, Mining Town, Mr. Moore, if you're still up to it, and we go for this, because this is just a pause from the Siberia series. Um, uh, if we go for this, uh, oh, we can we can do this. How can I do this? I can't. I was thinking of uh, building parallel railroads here, maybe for both of them to use for fueling purposes. Yeah, anyway, I'll think about the fuel here, because we're going to have to have diesel fueling station. Okay, continuing on to third city, the third, the third. Yeah, I know, I know how it sounds like. Not at all intentional. The third city would be around here. I think we would have a little bit more space for this one. So coal resources are here, right underneath our feet. So the city, I don't know where the city is going to be, but this is going to be more rudimentary uh, where we're going to have to import, I'm saying this right away, import coal because they are not connected. This is the country divided. The country divided that we need to connect it ourselves. So we need to utilize all the resources. We will have uh, income from different sides. Uh, oh, this one doesn't have railroad infrastructure. Interesting. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad because we have... Oh, crap. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, okay, so iron trucking, there we go, sold, I think that's already given, so uh, iron trucking, it is, so this would be our border crossing for the, for the, whoa, whoa, whoa. where is it again, let's see where the sources, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so this is in Almavari, could be a better crossing. Doesn't matter, mud roads anyway. So Almavari is a potentially better crossing. Let, let's start a little bit uh, just to place an industry or two. So we go to my uh, iron processing. We have uh, mines over here, 24%. Are you kidding me? This is awesome. This is, we're living on a like high, this is a high life. Uh, we can have it here. And then the second mind, if we're going to go for a second one. We have some ore here. 19% uh, I saw the most. 20. 20%. What about the other areas around 21, 22? But I would like to... Yeah, it's going to be a challenge to connect them. But uh, uh, let's see. On this side, there's not much. We can We can build it around here. Like this is, sure, let's see the flat terrain. We need flat terrain to see the amount. Come on, you're serious? This is how much it takes? 21. Why does it look like they? they it has more? 21. Sure, whatever, whatever. We can have the mines over here, for example, and then we need the storage facility. Uh, storage facility can be, can, yeah, mines can be directly uh, connected to storage facilities. So if you go to processing like this, rotate this. Really? You're gonna fight me like this? Uh, sure, sure, sure. Storage facility over here, no problem. Uh, connecting with conveyor towers. Uh, we will be, I will be uh, focusing back. I'm going to be going back to the 
I'm gonna be going back to the first town now. This is where the iron ore storage would be. I'm just uh, trying to find out what's the best location for town. I'm thinking around this area, maybe even more internal. Uh, we need to have decent connections for, from the border to food, for food imports and all that stuff. Uh, we're gonna have to monitor that. Uh, I'll probably build city halls in all of the cities, so we will uh, have everything covered. Uh, regarding the export of iron, we have, uh, we can, if you wish, guys, we can have, um, we can have a railroad connection all the way from here. I'm thinking maybe even intentionally building electricity connection from there to here, because we're going to be doing this, you know, uh, CHE, uh, and you go and... Uh, add resources so just to be on the safe side not on the safe side just to be clear that we're gonna be importing stuff so we can build again wooden infrastructure wooden railroad from this border crossing all the way to this iron processing but we can do it with trucks we can do with belarus trucks for example we can have uh we can have iron uh iron uh, pr uh loaded over here over here and then have belarus trucks going to the border these belarusian trucks big ones going to the border and uh exporting everything in big big trucks so well initially you know the the, the point of this map would be or this game would be to connect all the cities and uh, start using resources to develop our own population I would like to know your opinion on this. I will go back to the initial town and continue playing this sandbox mode because I don't do this often enough. I don't do this often enough and I should. Uh, I would also like to ask you, uh, what do you think? I think uh, interconnecting railroad infrastructure is something that always draws me uh, towards, well, uh, I'm drawn towards that maybe i shouldn't be doing this because if i this is an alternative this is what i think is an alternative so if i go for well previously mentioned alternative i would be building something like this so let's say uh railroad infrastructure one two uh like this crossing railroad no okay obviously straight away uh dumbass so this might be a little bit one two three One, two, three. You're not connected. One, two, three. All the way down. And then go to normal. This would be an alternative. And I don't mind using the alternative. If you think that this is better, I mean, it looks better, but is it age appropriate? Is this something, Is these the, are these the bridges that we're supposed to have at this time? Uh... uh yeah, the, this time frame, and like, are we supposed to have like um, almost steam? It's gonna be diesel, but almost steam locomotives using this. I can do do this railroad a little bit closer to here, and then have uh, um, a fuel station for both trains uh, at the same time. So I can do. Uh, I'm not. I, I. We can do. We can do better. So what do you think about this? Should we build a bridge over this? With these wonky things, we can probably build a straight bridge as well. I can I can be smart and try to build a straight bridge. Let's, let's play with this. Town town should be easy. I mean, like town should be easy. I should I probably will do some off screen work if I don't. Sorry about that, but uh, I might do some off screen work. Let's see. Uh, we can do something like this. Something like this. And then finish it off with this. Old Gala taught me about this. Not, not exactly this one, but with river bridges. I didn't. I wasn't even aware that. You know, I, I, it, it was kind of. Um, uh, it was kind of yes. Of course, you can do this, but I never tried it. So uh, we can we can have this kind of infrastructure here. And then what the hell is this? Sure, obviously fixing in is is in order. So. We would have uh, removed this bridge uh, with a railroad connect connected to each other. So let's just remove all of this. Uh, all of this. So I would be building... Oh, this is just also not, not important anymore. So I would be building something like this. One, two, three, all the way down. Uh, this can be a thing. And then parallel to this one. Doesn't really matter. Let it be parallel as long as possible and then connect it, whatever, here. 
and then construct this and then demolish this one and the two and then build the fuel station here oh guess who didn't leave enough space uh here we go I'll rotate it uh maybe not let's see this one is gonna be fine more or less and then uh, railroad infrastructure here and the wooden railroad uh, that's an old industrial railroad for exports you know storytelling and all uh, can we do this a little bit better so let's do this really really looks like he's gonna be fighting us okay sure fighting us F, yeah. Yeah, th this is always the situation with this. Um, uh, it's easy. It, this is not uh, hard to fix. I will fix this. Uh, I will leave it here. I will t ask you guys, what do you think about this? Why do you think about this new world building series where we're going to be building our own world and then play in it? Uh, this also gives me a new I insight in how people, uh, how map makers uh, that actually make populated maps, what they have to go through to, in order to build them. So what do you think? Uh, bridges? or connections what is your favorite what do you think about three cities with a goal of connecting them and then first connecting them and then building a capital city of course we can plan for the capital city in between so one city second city and the third one around here all near soviet borders uh, if we need to export anything to nato countries we have all this plateau to, to export there if you wish so anyway uh, we also, this this city, the, the industrial hub of the industrial heartland uh, is going to be on Kainan Island. So we're going to have to think about bridges and stuff. So yeah, anyway, what do you think? Did you enjoy this? If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, you have the description of the video. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.